Hello! In this video I'm going to show you some perhaps less obvious features of the editor that are quite useful when you're mission making. The first you can access by hitting preview and it's the built-in teleport feature. All you need to do is open your map, hold alt and click where you'd like to go. It is worth noting that forward velocity is not transferred. Microphone muted. Synchronize is a feature of the editor that can be used to control the movement of vehicles and units. My goal here in this little scenario is as soon as unit 1 is dead, then this transport truck can move past its first waypoint. To achieve that, all I'm going to simply do is place a trigger down, pressing F3, and I'm going to write not alive, using an exclamation mark to represent not, unit 1. So as soon as unit 1 is dead, this trigger will be fired. To control the movement of the vehicle, all I simply need to do is press F5, and I'm going to synchronize the trigger to the vehicle's first waypoint. Then I'm going to hit preview. And as we can see, the truck is not moving. But as soon as that unit's dead, the transport truck is now free to move along its waypoints. If you've ever wanted to get more than one unit into a vehicle by waypoint, and you find you couldn't because a waypoint from a previous unit is in the way, all you need to do is hold shift, click on the vehicle, and you'll see now you have selected the vehicle rather than the waypoint. This also works if you press F1 for units and hold shift. You can now select the underlying unit rather than the waypoint itself. This method will also work when trying to get units into buildings. If you place a waypoint or a trigger down, in this case a simple independent present trigger, and press the effects button, you'll get a list of music options and sound effects. And finally, a simple tip, if you press F7 to place a module down, such as the effects tracer, you can hit show information and that will give you a good description about how to use the module. Remember, you can click on different elements to get different bits of information. In this example, it shows you can synchronize an effects module to a trigger and that trigger, once fired, will then trigger the effect. To demonstrate this, we'll have a simple independent present trigger. And I'll synchronize that to the tracer module. Hopefully these have been useful to you. If you have any perhaps lesser known things you can do with the editor, drop them in the comments and perhaps we can make another video 